Welcome back. You're listening to Rhythm FM, coming to you live from Kingston, Jamaica. Thank you very much for staying with me. And I want to say thanks to all those persons across the island and overseas who have been very supportive because the work that I do, I really can't do it alone. And even those who just probably just send me a message sometime and say, you know, they'll say to me, Vernon, thank you very much. Um, a lady who I met over the weekend. But she went to she bought me up to tell me thanks. I really appreciate you hung me up. She said, Sadabi years ago I had a problem with uh, my electricity and you guided me and to, uh, you told me what to do. And she hugged me up. You know, it felt so nice. And I must tell you, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing what I do. And I enjoy when you come and just tell me thanks. I do. And uh, I have to say thanks because even the work I do in terms of even, the, well, the blogs that I write, there are persons who assist me. They assist me in terms of if there are errors, they will send me a message immediately. And many of you know that I stay up until sometimes 2, 3 o'clock in the mornings. And, oh, yes, the doctor will warn me too. God, they monitor me too. They say, Mr. Dab, you're staying up too late. Um, I want to thank you very much. So all those persons who say, Vernon, you leave off. A, hey, there is that. They tell about what? If it's a void, what they must put here. Yeah, I want to thank all of you. And I do appreciate it. There are some things that I'm doing now, which I never did before. And I, and I will tell persons who are stepping up in age, don't tell yourself you can't do it. And I sometimes I have to move with other persons who are so experienced. Graphics, no, I'm, I'm doing graphics now so I can put things out and share it with you. So... I want to thank those who advised me in terms of which software to get. Um, some kind person helped me out with a computer the other day. You know, so I'm, I want to say thanks. Oh, that was a relative. No, 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 I think I told you before, but the computer I had before, when I have to render, for example, movies, render is when you put things together and then the computer has to do something and then output a movie. It used to take between four to five hours, so I have to leave it overnight. So probably for the whole weekend, I can only do probably one or two. Now they have they give me a super laptop here. It takes between five and ten minutes to do. It is just amazing. So, as usual, I want to thank you very much. And even moving about, this morning I'm coming to work. A lot with mean pun and I'm trying to go over so that um, I can reach down in time. And let me tell you something. What are the people them them whole are they? You know, with all the, the flash I put out behind them, but nasty, you know. Uh, and therefore, I want to say thanks to the police officer because I, he just told me his name like that. I, can't, I don't remember it. Obviously, I really feel bad. I don't remember your name, you know. But he realized I was trying to get over. And um, he just came out to the road and directed the traffic to wait. I allow him to go over. So I want to thank you very much, officer. Sorry, officer, that's in halfway through. I don't remember your name. Um, but I hope that if you are listening, you will hear. So for that officer who helped me out this morning, thank you very much. And there are quite a number of persons who... They try to facilitate me. As I said, you go to customs, there ain't a problem out there. The customs officer went by FedEx, they had a challenge there. And all the officers, the FedEx officers, the customs officers, and I must tell you, the customs officers, what is happening in that department? Um, it seems as if, just like the police force, they're putting a significant emphasis on customer service. The, the customs department seems to, that they seem to be improving by the day or by the minute. Yeah, man, they're quite courteous and so on. Because guess what? When you have to go there, you have to pay the little money the hard, you know. So I guess they're being nice and sweet about it. So when you, even when you have to pay the big money in terms of customs, what a nice way you have to smile and vex and come out your business. So uh, those customs officers who, I think I mentioned their names yesterday, uh, I want to thank you very much. But as I tell you, I don't know what happened to me. I, mean, I don't think there's anything special about me, but I must tell you when I go about my business, persons are always trying to assist. Uh, there's a security guard, for example. I went to pick up a newspaper, and when I went there, it was finished. I was at Costa Rica. I said, Oh, no, I left no paper for me. I don't know. I come here all the while. The security guard does take out the paper and hand it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Shut me up. Yeah. Thank, Mr. What, Giovanni? Yeah. I want to thank you very much. So I, I can't stop saying thanks because while I help you and you thank me, I have to thank those who also help me to help you. Uh, there's something. Yeah. And then it, even my blogs persons help me with this one. I need to read this blog which was sent to me by Mikey Spence. And those who are in government, please understand that there are issues that, that are not affecting the people. Sometimes we put things out and we do a PR, but we have to understand that sometimes we need to hear 
what the people have to say and uh, know what is affecting the people. And, and Mr. Prime Minister, sometimes you are there, you know, a person surround you, they'll give you their perception as to what is happening, but you make sure that you keep in touch with what is happening on the ground. Um, right, because as you will probably realize by this, uh, support for you is, is dwindling. It is. I didn't have to listen to no poll. I just walk and talk to people out there, and you know, you know, people who are uh, hardcore liberals, I will tell you that they kind of lose it for the party. So you need to step it up to and keep in touch with what is happening. Um, the opposition, they're stepping up. I know Mr. Gold in here trying his best to to make sure that he identify with the people. Because there's also a challenge there. And let me tell you something. Which I was no cost politician. We need them. Oh, yes. All right. I make the opposition party mash up and swap. I make mash up in two parties. Say, Politics are rubbish. Get rid of them and save all the country. Run. So as much as they give us trouble sometimes, you know, we do need them. So both of you keep in touch with what is happening. And my job is to, and the aim of this program too, is to, Bring to business places and to the political directorate things that are affecting consumers so that you can be aware of what is happening. Well, I'm going to read this article which was sent to me. And since I put it up, the, the impact seemed to have been very, very significant. And persons are really sending this article around. But it's from Mike Spence and it says, Jamaicans only have access to about three miles of Jamaica's 400 plus miles of beach across access. <coughs> this is not only embedded racism, it is social, economic, and environmental idiocy. In Barbados, for example, no building on the beach side, so all beaches are open to residents. Can you imagine under colonialism, <coughs> blacks had more access to beaches? Mike, you sure you have that right? <coughs> no, sir, this doesn't sound right at all. Really? What? Under colonialism, blacks had more access to the beaches? This is unbelievable. So what did they say? A black man around things now and we worse off. That doesn't sound good at all. Let me continue to read this article. It says, Them can tell me about republicanism for Jamaica. That is giving more power to those who already have a record of being the worst judge, jury, and executioners of power by the economically powerful. <coughs> Remember, he who has economic power has real political power. So the government is really a puppet, worse than the colonialists. When people wake up, don't be surprised they say no to republicanism. God save the king. Republicanism sounds good on paper for Jamaica. It's a scam. And just look at the group selected to deal with it. So, so lawyer trained in colonialists' legal interpretations. Oh, that's a strong one. Hey, I have a concern about that too. Mr. Spence continues, Jamaica, slave ancestry, 98% of the population owning only 5% of the Jamaican economy. Under puppet Kingston, quasi-colonial Jamaican government. Fool the people sometimes. You can't fool all the people all the time, sings Bob Marley. Them can't fool me. Are you Massa Vernon? This is interesting. Uh, Mr. Prime Minister and Leader of the Opposition, there are a number of persons seem to have major concerns, and I do, <coughs> with how we're handing over the country, especially our beaches. Our beaches should be regarded as common areas. See, when you live in a strata building, you have your common areas, so that everybody have access to it. Your beaches should be treated as such. Mr. Prime Minister, something has to happen. We can't continue like this. And if it means that those who occupy the beach, it must be handed back over to the people of this country. Mr. Prime Minister, you need to do it. Put a seeker gone, everywhere gone. Where you going to give it? We don't river now and again. Can we not even have a river for go? The little beach where we have can go. Right? 
The people them now no money, Mr. Prime Minister. So I tell I tell you, sir, the you wire legacy if you look good. Not only should you sound good, you do some good things. I don't think man knock, knock you completely because on you criticize the politician, then knock you and say, and by the way, I don't care if you want to call me GLP and PMP, right? At least we vote for our party. You don't vote for none. Eh? So I'll look up with them don't vote. Mark you though, you have to be careful. We need to have some other parties. So if you if you if them put up two jackass for run, you don't vote for one of the jackass and make you into a third jackass. So I have a problem with that though. But um you don't matter if you want to vote, yeah, you must be active, man. So, Mr. Prime Minister, what is happening there can't work. The beaches must be given back to the people. Right? It must be given back to the people. Now I'm proud to tell you that uh, there are persons in leadership positions right across this island. They're listening to this radio program. They also read the things that I write. So I want to let you know that when you come to me, they are listening. Right? When they come to me and I put it forward, they are listening. And I must admit I've seen changes. You know, the government not too deaf, you know, and deaf sometimes uh, I suffer for hard hearing, but they're not too deaf all the way because they want to win political power. But when you sit down and you do nothing and say nothing, what do you expect? They must go on with what they want, go on with it. Anyhow, I got a message from a leader, and you know who, but you see me now, when persons talk to me, but I've had JLP, PMP, businessman, church people, and they said to me, Vernon, I'm speaking to you in confidence. Nobody can get it from me. Me nearly lose that job so much because they want to get confidential information. You know, I get it. I am not going to put things on into news and so on because I want to make news. I'm not going to do it. People must first respect me as Vernon, ordinary person Vernon. So when you talk to me confidentially, think I'm going to chat your business by here. I'm going to put in a news. No, I will not do that. So rest assured. And those who know me over the years know that when you send things to me, it comes to me alone. It doesn't go to anybody. So I got this from a leader and I assured the leader that... Um, I never say Prime Minister, leader of the opposition. He said, you're going to jump to conclusion. I say, well, I got it from a leader. And the person says, good morning. When locals begin to clean up after themselves and not have rum, guineas, boom, bottles and garbage all over our beaches, then maybe all beaches should be open to the wider public. Visiting the beaches of Barbados that is open to the public is nothing like Jamaica. I saw no trash no bad behavior, no harassing the tourists. Until we have better behavior, no beach should be open to the public. And my friend, what I tell you, talking utter rubbish. And the person is listening, I know. Um, and my response to that, hope you heard it, let me just go through it quickly again. <clears throat> In response to that article about the beaches and Jamaicans not having access to the beaches, I got this response from a, a leader. Good morning. When locals begin to clean up after themselves and not have rum, guineas, boom, bottles and garbage all over our beaches, then maybe all beaches should be open to the wider public. Visiting the beaches of Barbados that is open to the public is nothing like Jamaica. I saw no trash, no bad behavior, no harassing the tourists. Until we have better behavior, no beach should be open to the public. My response to the person. The state has a role to maintain law and order in the society. And for a long, long time, we have failed to do so. We need social workers to assist in dealing with the challenge in the homes. School administration administrators must be allowed and must be directed to ensure that there is order in our schools. And we need a system which ensures that adults are held accountable for their actions. This, in a way, similar to how we deal with COVID-19. We are in a crisis, and this must be managed effectively. Leaders must lead. The person responded, I agree, leaders must lead. But as you said, the society has been broken for decades, and it will take another decade to get us on track. A bad child doesn't change attitude in a day or week. It takes reinforcement. And I respond, I believe in confidentiality and I have never betrayed that trust in doing what I do. But what you have said is something that is in the national interest. I will mention, all right. Well, there you have it. 
Well, one of our leaders, when I say leaders, I mean, I mean I if a political leader, a business leader, a leader in the church, he's one of our leaders. But, as I say, so I'm glad I have this program on air, and I'm glad my leaders are speaking to me, and I'm happy for those who invited me to a meeting on Saturday. Yeah, some church leaders invited me to a meeting, because it's good to, to, you know, I don't like the limelight. Well, Lord, you're going to say I'm not true. No, I don't. I don't like to go about like that. I, don't, I enjoy radio. But I'm being told you need, you need to get out there. So I'm trying my best to do it in my social media. And when people persons invite me, I go up there because I guess you must be seen. I know what they want this to be. I'm not all dark and handsome. You know? <laughs> so, I don't want. So, so that's my feeling. And the beach matter is a very serious matter. And Mr. Prime Minister and leader of the opposition, you need to be one on this. No matter two, once I want to do two, I don't want to disagree. Right? That because one said the other oppose our one, who oppose the other one don't listen. No. We need to be one on this one. The beaches in this country should belong to the people, should be like any common area in any complex. And the people should have access to all beaches. Right? You know, sell out the hotel here. We know we want the investment. But you can't go sell out your beach then. Right? They might look after for them interest when they come and they send, they send for them on investment and they might make sure a certain amount of money go back and they give away the beach and like how they give away the backside for nothing. Come on. Don't do it. Mr. Prime Minister, it's the leader of the opposition. Let us agree on this one. And for all hotels who have taken off the beaches, let them adjust their walls, pull them down, and give the beaches to the people. But when we give the beaches to the people, like that leader suggested, they must be properly kept. And anybody who mess it up, you bet them spend all three months and clean up the mess that they leave there. We are giving the impression that our leaders can't manage we have to give it to the private sector. And because of that, we are using the excuse to give any whole country lock, stock, and ball to the private sector. Say, we give away here, Jamaica. I don't, I don't know what we own. We don't even own ourselves nowadays. It's bad. But then again, it's all dead and gone. So I'll let me country. I look for one of us at Jamaica. Then go on and can't keep it. Anyhow, you know, you know when I get too hot, I love to have music to sort of. Why is to keep me quiet? <laughs> And Chucky, I just joke me on my wheel. So <laughs> I have to keep quiet. Oh, I just say I have to go for the break right now. I didn't, oh, Lord, I've gone over. So it's a break. Let's go for the break right now. You're listening to Ready BFM coming to you live from Kingston, Jamaica.